guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle with Dan Fancy Creations and today I have another fun Tumblr tutorial planned for you guys. So lately the trend in Tumblr making has been adding some 3D aspects to your Tumblr, whether it's with poxy sculpt, um, clay resin pieces, all sorts of things like that. So I thought it would be fun to do a tutorial on a few 3D tumblers. So today's tumbler is more on the classy summer side. It is going to have monstera leaves on it that are 3D that I made out of epoxy. I purchased a mold on Amazon, I believe, that has three different sizes. I will link it in the description for you guys. Um, I really had fun with this tumbler. I love my personal monstera plant, so getting to make a tumbler that resembled that was pretty cool. So I think this tumbler has really kind of summery vibes, perfect for lake days or beach days or just summer in general. And it's more on the classy side, so it has lighter colors versus the bright neon summer colors that we often see. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I really had fun with making it. And don't be scared to try a 3D tumbler because they are not as hard as you might think that they are. So if you guys are ready to see how I created this fun leaf tumbler, let's get started. So to start out, we're going to start with a tumbler that is base painted with a flat white paint. I prefer Rust-Oleum, but you guys can use a different brand if you prefer that. Um, I was also doing several tumblers during this tutorial, so I went ahead and applied a very thin layer of epoxy because we are going to apply our glitter with the epoxy method. So my epoxy is very, very thin. I went ahead and popped all my bubbles with my torch and then I poured my glitter into my tea strainer and I am tapping it on. This is how I apply almost all of my glitter if I am doing the epoxy method, just because it gives a thin layer of glitter. I don't want it caked on. Um, it does produce a different look if you pour the glitter on versus tapping it on with a tea strainer. So it just depends on what look you are going for. This tea strainer I purchased at Walmart years ago. I have tried finding one similar to Link for you guys, but I can't necessarily find one on Amazon or Walmart. Um, there are several different options, though, that you can choose from. They're all pretty much the same. I just prefer the shape of this one. And then I just kind of toss some glitter up so it sticks to the bottom of my tumbler. We want to make sure that it all gets covered really well. And after this layer of epoxy is cured, we are going to apply one more layer of epoxy and then we will be ready to apply our leaves. So I'm going to apologize in advance for how dark it is. I totally forgot about applying these leaves and it was around midnight <laughs> when I uh, remembered. So it was pretty dark in my house. So I made these leaves by coloring epoxy with different shades of green ink and just poured it in. I also added some gold leaf in there just to give it um, a little interest, a little bit of gold touches to it. I can definitely do a tutorial on how I pour these molds if that's something that you guys would like to, but just to kind of save on time, I just went ahead and poured them. Um, I used regular artist resin to pour these molds and it has probably been about four hours. So it is definitely not cured. I described this to my husband that they are kind of like giant fruit snacks. They have that gummy feeling to them. So they're not cured. There are parts that are a little bit sticky. So when I was applying the next ones, I did keep some alcohol handy and I would dip my fingers in alcohol and then smooth the leaves onto the cup. But the 
part that was touching the mold was not sticky. It was more on the, basically the bottom side of the mold that was a little bit sticky. But I would rather it be a little too sticky than too firm to form to the cup. So this is basically what I was doing. Now you see that I went and grabbed my alcohol and a paper towel. So definitely keep that on hand. So once I removed it from the mold, I just formed it to the cup how I wanted it to be. And then I grabbed some alcohol and kind of smoothed everything out, especially around the edges, because I didn't want really hard edges that were raised a whole lot I kind of smoothed them out to the cup so they weren't it was more of a taper up to the mold instead of such a drop off from the mold to the cup so I'm just getting my fingers wet with alcohol again and we're going to pop out our next one I only did three the first time because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to place my text. And when you are peeling these out of the mold, you do need to be careful because if you move too quickly, you can stretch them out a little bit and we definitely don't want to deform them too much. We want it, them to keep that leaf shape. And sorry if you guys can hear my puppy in the background. She is squeaking her toy, wanting me to play with her. <laughs> So again, we're just, I'm just blotting my fingers with the alcohol and then kind of pressing the mold down. And then I'm just kind of smoothing out little areas because when I do epoxy, I want it to be fairly smooth. I mean, it's going to be 3D, but I don't want any like sharp parts that the epoxy could form, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of smoothing down the edges of it so it's not so blunt. And this was definitely the first type of 3D tumbler I've done with um, resin pieces. So I was kind of learning as I go. If you are going to use a paper towel, make sure it's one that doesn't have um, like a lot of fibers. Like the paper towels we have are more of like the cloth-like ones. So there's not a whole lot of fibers that come off because you don't want those to get stuck to your resin pieces as well. You can also use a microfiber cloth or something like that, but I just found that going around the pieces with a paper towel really helped smooth everything out. So now we're ready for our last one of the three. So I was kind of holding it up um, to the cup first, just to see how big the shape would be on the tumbler and where I wanted to place it. And again, I'm being super careful when I remove these.
And again, once it's on there, we're just going to smooth everything out. This one did have a little piece of the leaf that got kind of twisted, but I was able to straighten it back out. And the reason why I do this when they're still tacky is because if you wait until they're cured, then you won't be able to form them to the cup. I did try a few different ways. Um, I tried soaking the already cured epoxy in hot water to soften them a bit. And then I rubber banded the mold to the cup, but it still wasn't quite as flush to the cup as I wanted it to. This was the best way that I figured out how to do it. And after these three molds cured, I decided that I wanted to add three more leaves. Um, so I made three more really quickly since this process seemed to work out pretty well. But I did want to apply my vinyl before I applied the other three leaves because I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of space to apply my vinyl quote that I wanted and not have the leaves interfere with that. So this was another tip that I figured out. Um, this one little leaf was kind of stuck. The little holes in the Monstera leaves were kind of closed up. So I did get a toothpick and was able to shape them back to how they're supposed to look. So you can kind of form your molds back into place this one was still a little bit too tacky, but it worked out fine. So after all the leaves were on there, you guys can see I'm just making sure everything was smoothed out. And then I set this to the side and went to bed. <laughs> so this is what our tumbler looked like the next morning. I was super happy with it. I loved how this was turning out. So I went ahead and printed my vinyl and I decided to reverse weed it because they were pretty tiny letters. If you guys have not done reverse weeding before, it is great for text that is really small and maybe hard to weed or have little thin parts to it. You basically just put the transfer tape over the entire image and then you peel off the backing and the text or little image will stick to the transfer tape. And this S was what was kind of stuck on, which is why I decided to do the reverse weeding. <laughs> And then you can go back and weed any circular letters like the H or the E's in sunshine. So I just peel it off super easy and we are ready to apply it on the offset. The offset was not quite as thin so I did not need to reverse weed that. Everything came off good with this one.
And if you guys have watched my videos, I always use transfer tape that has lines. I think it is super helpful when you're trying to line up any text offsets, if you're trying to get it straight on your tumbler. So I will typically match up one side of the decal and then I will smooth the rest of it out. This sun was a little off, so I did decide to apply the vinyl to the um, offset of the sun first and then kind of smooth everything else out. I think it got a little wonky when I was trying to weed everything, which can happen. And then my S I focused on a little bit more because I was having trouble with that from the beginning. <laughs> so I smoothed down the part that actually was matched up with the offset. And then I went back with my fingers and kind of applied the top part of the S just to make sure that it would match up perfectly. <laughs> Gotta love it when vinyl does not cooperate with you when you want it to. So now that we finally have everything lined up like it's supposed to be, we can apply this to our cup. I was being very careful with this because any type of holographic vinyl, if you get like one crease in the vinyl, then it will show under epoxy and it's so frustrating. So I took my time trying to make sure everything was super smooth when I was messing with that S. So I was apparently having issues with this vinyl today. <laughs> and if I ever have pieces that won't stick to the transfer tape, I think I just cut this one too deep. I will just apply the decal and then peel off those other pieces later and apply them. Don't stress yourself out about trying to get everything on the transfer tape. And I used the straight lines and the transfer tape and lined it up with the rim of my cup just to make sure that the text was straight when I applied it. So now we're going to apply the other little sun rays that did not get attached the first time. So now that the decal is applied, we are ready to apply our other three Monstera leaves. So again, this is midnight because apparently that's when I do my best work and we are going to peel these off just like the first ones that we did. These I did make a little bit darker just to throw some contrast in there.
and we are just slowly kind of peeling them off, kind of letting it fall into my hands, just like we did before. And I'm just kind of pressing it on there. So I go around the mold and kind of release the epoxy mold first, and then everything just kind of slides out super easy. So this is our last little one that we are going to add to our tumbler. And once these are cured, we are going to apply our first layer of epoxy over the leaves. So I have all three of my 3D tumblers that I have done on here, just so you guys can see how I cover all of these little 3d elements with a paintbrush um, just so you guys get to see it more than just one time so I start with my turner still and I will dip my paintbrush and a little bit of epoxy and just cover the entire 3d element just to make sure that everything is covered with epoxy. And once I have the 3D elements covered, I will turn my turner arm on and let it spin so the epoxy does not um, pull around the base of the 3D items. And for the leaves, I do the same thing, just a very thin layer of epoxy. I go around the edges, I get the blank space in the middle, just making sure that everything is covered really, really well. And I will do this for the entire leaf, leaves around the tumbler. And then I will focus on adding epoxy to the base of the tumbler. And if you are going to use a brush, um, I would, would suggest going ahead and having a little container of acetone already poured because as soon as you are done applying the epoxy to your tumblers you need to pop this paintbrush into the acetone so that it can dissolve the epoxy that is on the paintbrush because if you wait until it is hardened then you will not be able to get it off i forgot one of my paintbrushes had epoxy on it and left it sitting for too long. I even tried wrapping it in foil um, in a plastic bag and it would not come off of the paintbrush. So it was ruined. And then for our succulent tumbler, we are going to do the exact same thing. I just go around the base and the top of the 3D elements and just make sure that everything has a thin layer of epoxy on it. And I went ahead and covered my decals with epoxy too. Then I went and popped my paintbrush in the <laughs> acetone and let this spin so once the epoxy was cured on the 3d 
elements of the tumbler, I went back with more epoxy and applied it to the actual tumbler. So I just took my gloved finger and epoxy and applied it to the tumbler, but going around all of the 3D elements. The reason why I did not apply epoxy to the 3D elements with my gloved finger is because I didn't want huge globs of epoxy to get pulled on the 3D pieces or pulled around the edges, things like that. I was trying to avoid as many bubbles as I could. I know that some bubbles are going to be inevitable, but if I can make the epoxy on the 3D elements as smooth as I can, then there won't be too many bubbles. And you guys can see that I am going around the edges of the 3D elements and just getting rid of all that excess epoxy that's on there. And so going around the edges in between all the little cracks and crevices. So I am just going to speed this up a little bit, but I am still going to let you guys watch how I do these other two 3D tumblers. You guys can see I'm just doing it the same way, just going around the 3D elements, getting off any excess epoxy. And then what I do is take my paintbrush again and go over the 3D elements. So I'm really barely adding any epoxy. Some little um, spots I did need to add epoxy, but I was really just kind of covering the elements again. That's it. I wasn't trying to make a thick layer over it. I just wanted a very thin layer of epoxy over these elements and the paintbrush is also a lot better at getting rid of excess epoxy along the edges than my gloved finger And then I would just take my paintbrush and kind of smooth the epoxy out so there's no ripples. And then we do the same thing with the turtles. So once these are coated with epoxy, I will of course pop all of the bubbles. I did torch these a little bit longer than I would a typical glitter tumbler, just because it has so many different cracks and crevices from the 3D elements that I really focused um, around the resin pieces just to make sure that I popped as many bubbles as I could. And then once I popped all of the bubbles, I did go back in with a end of a paintbrush, I believe. Um, and I would dig out any epoxy that was stuck in these little cracks and crevices. So the interior of the leaves would hold a lot of epoxy and it was kind of hard for me to get it out just with my gloved finger, but the end of a paintbrush worked really well. 
And then of course, for smaller little areas, you can use a toothpick and that works great too. And then I would do the same thing around any other areas that may need it. And then I torched it one more time. And once this layer of epoxy was cured, that was pretty much it. So these definitely take a little bit more work than your typical glitter tumblers, but I love how they turn out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what type of 3D tumblers you come up with. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to catch the next video coming up that was picked just for you. As always, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my tutorial group on Facebook or my new patron group. Both are linked in the description. Thanks for watching.